What is up YouTube? It's Ryan here and I have a uh, another video for you guys today. This is going to be um, a beginner's, uh, beginner's text and lighting tutorial in uh, Cinema 4D. So what we're going to go ahead and do is open up Cinema 4D. And uh, in this tutorial, uh, this is going to be for very, um, you know, basic beginners here. Uh, just, you know, just you just got Cinema 4D, you want to know how to set up a text. So, and a lighting. This is going to be a very good lighting tutorial as well. So what you're going to do is uh, first when you load up Cinema 4D, you're going to have this here. So uh, go ahead into your render settings and always, as a standard, do this. 1280 by 720. This is in your output module right here. And you just got to click this button right here and go to your output and 1280 by 720. So then what else uh, you're going to do is make the make sure that this scene is aligned. As you see, we're kind of diagonal with the planes. We want to line this line straight up. So these three right here, your camera tools, you're going to take the rotate tool and rotate your camera so this main line right here is straight, exactly straight. Um, like that. See, mine's exactly straight right now. And uh, we're pretty dead on. So now we got our straight um, alignment on. This is uh, help you look very professional because when you have your uh, scene all crooked, it doesn't look very nice. So what you're going to do now is go into MoGraph and go into Text Object or MoText, either one. Find it. It'll be on the MoGraph um, menu. So when you have your text, you're gonna it's gonna be all to the left. So don't don't drag it over here and try that. Go uh, go into your mo text object and uh, go down to the align section and hit middle. And uh, there you go. You got perfectly centered text. You can move your camera angle down a little bit. Um, uh, and then what we're gonna do is um, on our object, the uh, we're gonna change the uh, depth to about 150. Nah, that's too deep. We're gonna go 120. All right. Uh, that's that seems all right. And uh, I mean, this font's not bad, so I'm just gonna put my name, uh, all caps. And then for the, um, go ahead on your caps, uh, on your motex, go to caps, and click fill a cap, and uh, click fill a cap. You don't really need to mess with it that much. It's it's fine like that. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do is uh, use your camera zoom tool right here, where my mouse is. Zoom out, and uh, Go to your cube button right here. It's actually your objects, and uh, hit the plane. Okay. Now this plane is going to be our light. Uh, this is a very simple lighting setup. And uh, go ahead and make the plane bigger by clicking in the middle and dragging. Make it as big as your text. It's just a little bit bigger. And uh, go ahead and drag it above your text. Okay. And just that far. And what you're going to go do is make a new material. And um, you're going to uh, make whatever color you want. I'm just going to have mine white or kind of gray. I'm going to change the reflection. Uh, go to reflection and click on it if you want reflections. If not, it's fine. Uh, and then uh, go to Fresnel or Fresnel and then uh, hit 34 and 35. And uh, that's fine. Brightness about 30 and mix strength about 30. Right here, just follow exactly as I do. And uh, with your color, if you want to change the color, do not change the color on your reflection. Change the color in your color tab right here. So, because uh, watch, this is an example. I change this to gray. It's not going to do anything. Okay, maybe it did a little bit, but watch. When I change this to gray, watch there. It actually works. So drag this one onto your text. Okay, and then make one more material. This is going to be our light material. Go to diffusion. Double click the material and go to diffusion and click diffusion. No reflection for this one. Just diffusion. Uh, I mean, not diffusion. Sorry, guys, not diffusion. Click luminance. Check luminance. If you click diffusion, if you uh, check diffusion, uncheck it, please. And uh, bring the brightness up to 200, um, just for now. And then drag the plane up just a little bit. And uh, as you see now, we our text isn't that great looking, so we have to drag our plane, the lightning onto our plane, and uh, still not that good looking. So what we're going to do is go into this tab right here, the render settings. We're going to go to Effect, and we're going to put Ambient Occlusion, and we're also going to put Global Illumination. And now we're going to zoom in on our object, and uh, we're going to see how it looks. So now, guys, our text looks a lot better, and it has those reflections on it. It looks very nice, clean, and um, pretty much that's all for our um, tutorial for today. It's just a beginner sliding setup. Um, you can do more other things with this, but that's just a beginner's lighting setup. 
and uh, yeah. So thanks guys for watching. This has been a beginner's lighting setup tutorial and Cinema 40 uh, beginner's text setup as well. And uh, just remember to subscribe and uh, like the video, please, if it helped you out. I know a lot of people are uh, new to Cinema 40 and they need some help, so I thought I'd make this for you. And uh, thanks guys, and uh, have a nice day.